year and a half I've been uh, working towards this goal, this project right here. Very humbling to have it almost, almost complete. So from harvesting, filleting, processing the skins, tanning them in sumac, yeah, and then stretching them. This is how I made that scabbard. Pretty awesome. This is a bigger fish. This is a fish of a different caliber here. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, man. I already released one and I got another one on. Oh, yeah, that's a, I hear ya. Scott. You know? Look at you. Oh, my you. God, dude. Scott. Nice fish. What do you think? Are we keeping any? Yeah. yeah? Is this a? Is he? He's not over whatever. Uh, no. Too, this would be a good keep. So this is the sumac. You can tell by the uh, by the antler. It's got an antler on it. That one right there.
Oh, oh, oh. The only reason I turned the camera off. So these things here, they're uh, holes and they're lined with uh, these brass, this brass tubing. It's there, I'll take my word for it. So there's gonna be a handle coming off of it. And I was gonna make like brass wire loops and then a piece of uh, leather, a piece of leather that Goyakli gave me and made it like a, like a bag, almost like a doctor's bag. And then I thought, you know what, there's got to be something around here that I could use to stand the, the, uh, the leather off of the, yeah. And then I thought, oh, you know what, Brother John had a whole bunch of wire leaders that I'll never use. Hey, if you made it this far in the movie, leave me a comment or hit like. <laughs> in my late teens and I was painting uh, the, the stuff that was dried up on the edge of the palette knife I wouldn't scrape it off I would um, take a piece of sandpaper and just you know go like that with the piece of sandpaper I did, not realizing it at the end of every painting session uh, you know like if I knew I was gonna be painting for a couple days I would dry my knife off 
and clean my knife off on my apron and then you know a couple days later the paint would be dry no big deal no big deal right well i got done painting this one day wiped my knife off on my apron and walked away and i had a, a scratch you know like a, a sore on my chest i looked down uh, and my shirt is cut to ribbons <laughs> I had been sharpening the palette knife on the sandpaper. I made basically a razor. It's not this one, that one. Probably wore it down to a nub over the years. That's a great story, huh?
So this thing probably cost at most 15 17 dollars to make and no, i mean barely any tools like uh, just hand tools files bunch of files right files and knives and gouges and uh, a lot of time what are your thoughts